Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make some simple wall art out of denim. This is a creative and hopefully fun way to make wall art out of your old jeans and it's based on topographic maps. A topographic map is a simplified map showing the relief of an area of land, usually in the form of contour lines. I personally really like the appearance of all the flowing lines and I thought it was a good way to make use of all the different shades of denim. Okay, so for this project you will need some fabric. I used various samples of denim I bought off eBay, plus denim from old jeans. However, feel free to use other clothing or woven fabric scraps for this if you wish. I personally think that fabrics that are different shades of the same colour work best. Other things you'll need include an X-Acto knife and cutting mat, some scissors, a metal ruler, a pencil and a razor, a hand sewing needle and thread, you can use a matching thread or contrast thread for this, a piece of paper for the template, a piece of card for the display frame, a magic fabric pen or pencil and some double sided tape. You can use glue instead, it's just a little bit messier. Optional but recommended extras include a rotary cutter, a bone folder and some post-it notes. Okay, so the first step is to design the map template. I decided to create my own pattern of contour lines, but you could base yours on an actual area of land or a series of hills or mountains. So I started by doing a few little sketches to work out the layout of the map. I knew approximately the shape and size of what my map would be as I knew which piece of denim I wanted to use as the base layer due to it being the darkest shade. If you know which fabric scraps you are using, this will determine or limit what size your map can be. Once you've figured out your design, cut a piece of paper into a rectangle shape the same size as the finished map will be. Then draw out the final design in actual size on this piece of paper. You then need to number each contour on the map template then decide which piece of fabric will represent each contour. You then need to number the fabrics for your own reference and I used post-its to do this. I labelled the highest point on the map as number 1 and the base layer as number 8. I also tried to graduate from the lightest colour of denim at the top to the darkest colour at the bottom. Choose the fabric to use as the base layer and then trace around the paper template onto this fabric. I used a water soluble white pencil. Then cut along these lines using a rotary cutter and a ruler or some scissors. If you're wondering why I left the selvage on the top of my base layer it's because at this point I was thinking about doing a mini wall hanging instead. We've already cut out the base layer, so now we need to cut out all the other layers of the map. I had 8 layers in total. First, cut off the outermost pieces, or lowest pieces in terms of land relief, from the paper template. In my case, I cut off the areas numbered 8, as that represented my base layer. Now, use this smaller template to cut out the correct shape from the next piece of fabric you want to use, which is number 7 in my case. So I drew around the template using a water soluble white pencil and then cut those pieces out. I like to use a ruler and rotary cutter for the straight edges and scissors for the curved edges. Then cut the next number off the paper template, so I removed the sections labelled 7. Use this template to cut out the next fabric shape, which in my case means I'm cutting from fabric number 6. And you need to carry on in this manner until all of the contour shapes have been cut out from the matching fabrics. So remove the sections labelled 6 and use that template and so on. You should end up with lots of pieces that stack neatly on top of each other. The next step is to stitch all of these layers together. How you sew the layers together is up to you. 
I used a dark blue sewing thread and I used a simple running stitch. If you want the stitches to stand out more, you could use a contrasting thread instead. Or, if you really don't like sewing, you could use fabric glue to attach them. Start by sewing together the top two layers, knotting the thread at the beginning and the end to secure it. Then sew these to the layer underneath and so on until every contour is outlined in stitches. Once you've finished, use a ruler and rotary cutter or some scissors to neaten up the edges. Just remove a very narrow slither of fabric on each side. This will make the edges line up perfectly. My base layer ended up being 5 inches wide and 6.5 and inches tall. If you have some Fray Check liquid sealant, then you can now apply some to the outside edge of the map, just to help prevent fraying. This is an optional step, and just be aware that it can darken a fabric, so try it out on a scrap of the fabric first. In order to outline the contours in white, I used a product called Enamel Accents. This is described as being a glossy, opaque, dimensional glaze that's used to highlight and outline. As an alternative to this, you could use a fine-tipped bottle or a fine paintbrush along with white paint. This isn't vital, but if your fabrics don't contrast very much, then this will help the contour lines to stand out. Carefully apply it around the edges of each piece of fabric, then leave it to dry. And then the final step is to make a frame out of card. Because my map is pretty small, I can use an A4 piece of card to do this. I placed the map in the centre of the card, widthwise, and measured how much card was showing on either side. This was around 4 centimetres. I then placed the map this distance from the bottom edge and also measured this distance from the top of the map. I marked this point with a pencil across the width of the card, joined the points and then used a craft knife and ruler to cut along the line. This left me with a map surrounded by about 4cm of card on each side. I decided to make the frame 1cm wide and 1cm high, which would leave me with a small white border around the map. So I drew two pencil lines along each edge, one 1cm one from the edge and the other 2cm from the edge. I then scored along these lines using my craft knife. On one side of each corner, I measured 1cm along the edge from the square of pencil lines. Do this for each corner. Then cut along the drawn lines at each corner. You're basically just cutting out the corner square plus a little 45 degree diagonal section. You then just need to fold the sides of the piece of card upwards along the two scored lines. Use a bone folder if you have one to create sharp creases. Cut out four small triangles of double sided tape and place one in each corner on the card edges that haven't been cut at a 45 degree angle. Remove the protective film from the tape and attach the frame corners together. 
Each corner should now look like a neat mitre joint. Then you just need to attach your map in the centre of the frame. I used sticky foam pads but strong double sided tape would also work. And that's it, your map wall art is now complete. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.